This is a Fujifilm 35mm f1.4 R lens. This is a 10 year old lens and one of the first lenses that Fuji released with the X system. And in today's video, I want to discuss not only this lens with you, but what to do when you have gas. What's up everyone, Pete Coco here. Thank you as always for joining me and Today's video is all about gas. Now, if you don't know what gas is, I'm not talking about stomach problems. I'm talking about what we photographers call gear acquisition syndrome or gas. Now, if you're a photographer watching this video, I guarantee that you have had a case of gas in the past and you'll have it again. So I want to talk to you for a few minutes about what I like to do when I have a bad case of gas and my gas always gets so much worse during the holiday season for so many reasons. Now, I'm already thinking like that can be clipped and edited right there in a really bad way. Anyway, uh, I digress. When I get those feelings and I want to just drop my credit card uh, over at B&H, what I tend to do is go back, take a minute, look at what I already have and look at some of the pictures I've captured in the past with it and use it and then say to myself, do I really need that new piece of gear? And that's exactly what the point of this video is. When I do that, especially with this particular lens, I'm reminded that, no, I probably don't need to replace at least this lens because it is awesome. So let's talk about the lens itself for a few minutes. First of all, I love this lens because it's built like a tank. I mean, this lens is made like a small lens shaped tank. And I'm pretty sure if I threw it across the room right now, I could pick it up and it would work fine. I'm not going to do that, but you know, I've used this lens in the rain, in the snow, outside, inside, at concerts. I've dropped it on the floor. I've had it on my side where it bumped into people and things. And so my version has some nice little dings and, and some worn off parts from use. Uh, the glass is clean. It's dirty, but it doesn't have any scratches on it. The aperture ring is still super clicky too, which is cool because I've used it really for many years at this point. The second thing I love about this lens, the main thing I love about it, the image quality is amazing. I mean, you can't beat the quality of this lens. It's fast, it's sharp, and this lens is amazing in any kind of lighting situation, if it's dark, if it's sunny, if it's cloudy, if you're inside, if you're outside, whatever. So I really dig it. I really love the quality. I love the ease of use and I love how reliable it is. The minute I start wanting something new and like jonesing for a new lens or a new camera, I take my camera I already have <laughs> and the lens I already have and I go out and take a bunch of pictures because that for me has been a really good cure or at least a temporary fix to wanting to buy new equipment. And it not only works with camera gear, but it works with stuff in my studio. I mean, I have so many modifiers and lights and stuff all over the place. That sometimes I'll find something like in the basement or in the corner of my studio somewhere and be like, I forgot I had this. And then I used it once and it just sat around. So before I buy stuff now, I will go through the studio and say, what do I have here that I can do the job that I'm trying to do with this new piece of gear? And often I wind up just using what I have. So in the spirit of this video, I want to show you some of the awesome pictures that I've taken over the years with this lens. And these images work as Pepto-Bismol to my gas when I want to buy a new lens, so check them out.
Well, as usual, I hope you've enjoyed this video. Let me know what you do when you have a bad case of gas. Do you just run out and buy the latest and greatest? Do you wait? I'd love to hear from you. I'd love to know what you think. If you have this lens, let me know what you think about it. And uh, that's all I have for you for now. So go out, take some awesome pictures. Have a great day, everyone. And I will see you next time. Peace. Peace.